Alright, so this is the um, Blender program at the start. We're going to go ahead and load the file in and then animate it. So I'll go to File and open Recent and this is the, the scene. Alright, there it is. So from here we want to be able to animate it. So we'll go to first the animation view. And even here we've got a certain perspective that we're reviewing this from right now, but it's not the camera perspective. So we'll hit zero on the number pad to take the camera perspective. From there we'll go down to the bottom and actually hit play. We're noticing before we do that the green markers for everything start at the beginning. This really just becomes a, a reel now and we hit play and we see the camera view and then we also see the full view. So this is only what we're going to view inside the video captured itself. And then it loops through as you see at the bottom. And then we can pause it, start from the beginning. There are other camera views, but this is the only one that I have used in the animation itself. Uh, let's take a look at how that was done. So we're back to the default view, which I've taken as sort of a, a top down. If I move this view, you'll see here's the camera again. And what I did was I added a path. When I add this path in and I attach the camera to it, it'll run along this path and the typical animation loop that comes with Blender by default is 250 frames and so I believe this path is something like 100 frames so you just match it to 250 and then you get um, what you had before. We'll go right back to it here. Let's go back to the animation. Again, we could take a different view. If I hit the uh, number 7 key on the numpad we actually see the same view we had in default, where you actually see the path. But if we go back to the numpad zero, we're back in the camera view. If we go down here, hit the play button. Once again, we see the animation as it goes along its path. Now this is sort of a raw view. This is not the rendered view. So you'll see all of the nitty gritty of Blender uh, represented there, including the little lines here that lead up to the lights. Uh, but this is the basic path. And then if I go ahead and render this, either inside one of Blender's built-in rendering engines, or in a third-party engine that can be used as a plug-in, I can get some really awesome results. But that's in another video. Bye.